Oh, well, obviously, Richmond will have a huge motivation, and we've been through that as a club ourselves, so um, that'll be good for us because it'll be like finals-type intensity, so it's, it's exactly what we need. You've had the showdown, and this is your second back-to-back -back road trip. Any sign of fatigue at all in the group? No, our guys are really good. I mean, we uh, we managed it pretty well throughout the week, and so uh, that, that, no excuses. We've come here to play. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. Back to you, Hutto. Thank you, Andrew. Let's turn our attention to the Tigers, then, Rob. And... 20 goals from four games. Uh, quite remarkable, the Adelaide captain. There's Matthew Richardson. Certainly, Rob, he holds the key to the Tigers' forward line. Well, he does. And uh, I'd love... Look, Richo will be really keen to play well because his great mate, Joel Bowden, plays his 200th game for the Tigers. And uh, I just can't uh, compliment Joel Bowden enough. He started as a half-forward flanker and a winger. He plays as an undersized defender. He's on bigger opponents week in, week out. But he's won a couple of best and fairest for the Tigers in that key defensive role and All-Australian selection. Saturday afternoon footy from the Telstra Dome. Simmons, the number one ruckman for the Tigers. Pitted against Biglands. And you can see the scrap has well and truly begun. No one able to get a couple of hands on the ball, though. And, Hutto, the sun's shining here at Telstra Dome and the players to the right of screen have got the hands up to the face because uh, they are looking directly into it. And again, Biglands that time farming it down. Tigers able to hack it forward through Tuck. Playing in front. That's the main thing at the moment for the Richmond forwards. Tambling trying to scramble around the edge. Patterson, who's spent plenty of time in the VFL playing as a key forward. He's another one of their big men into the team this afternoon, of course, with Stafford going out. Simmons trying to do the ruck work. Goodwin lost it as soon as he got near it. Good tight work from Shirley. But the Tigers getting in the thick of it at the moment. Cracker hacking it forward. And a well-placed kick. And Tambling takes the mark. Yeah, Tambling playing forward pocket. His opponent is uh, John Cock. And he'll have a tough day, uh, Tambling, because John Cock has been in very, very good form. There's Big Simmons, the ruckman for the Tigers. Trent Noble on the interchange bench for Richmond. So uh, two big ruckmen to share the duties today for the Tigers. We know they were smashed early last week, Richmond. So a start like this might just be what they need. What a goal. It's the end of finance. The Crows haven't had a kick yet. One forward by Biglands. Riley. And eventually kick forward by Dowdy after he got it from Shirley towards half forward. Spectacular mark taken there by Callaway. Who was very brave as well. Running back with the flight. Kick out wide. Didn't quite hit the mark. Coglin tries to get around there. He's got the numbers here, the Tigers. So he gives it back to Callaway. And the short kick. Simmons just is able to mark it above the turf between half-back and wing. So, big job for Troy Simmons. Short one's on to Cracker. Adelaide have got numbers back. So, forcing him to go short. Only just, though. Look to Newman. Simmons, Cracker, back to Newman. Little kick around the body is OK. Mark taken by Cogler. Decides to wait. Perhaps could have gone. But again, the short kick. Polo. Oh, he's got a problem here. Matt that puts some good pressure on, but Polo's equal to the task. Kicks it long inside, attacking 50. Numbers with the Crows. Spills to Richardson. A wild handball only as far as McLeod. And look at the numbers there for the Crows. Shirley, Burton, Goodwin. Back to Burton. And now they're away. Rutten runs through midfield. Chips it out wide. Edwards, clever mark with the one hand. Now he's got Henschel. Short, he goes in that direction and Henschel marks. Gee, uh, Chris, how about the run and share in that defensive 50 by the Adelaide Crows? And I'm just looking back there, and there's about six of them congratulating each other. There's John Cock and there's McLeod and Goodwin and Rutten. Good play by Rutten when he finally was the one who received to get the kick. He didn't bomb it forward. He put it to advantage of Edwards, who in turn set this play up. So Henschel kicked three last week sitting on 49 career goals from 40 metres. Very stuttering approach. Drop punt is close at the post. So Adelaide's first score behind. He's kicked six goals, six from set shots for the year, Trent Henschel. And the Tigers uh, dodge a bullet early there. Tigers had a huddle 
uh, Hutto, and they've all broken to this side of the ground, so they've got the numbers. Tuck, he's got Delidio along the line. Didn't take that option immediately, now he does. It, it was a good play by uh, Richmond because they had a huddle of about 10 players and eight of them broke to the one side, so uh, there were plenty there to take advantage of the ball being kicked out wide. Looking to switch. Now, when Patrick Bowden gets it, the question will be, has he got another option immediately? Only the short one to Reigns. They might end up coming back this way. No, Reigns committed and goes for Patterson. who worked well to present. He's got Simmons along the line. And the Crows will zone off, but well done by Simmons. Simmons might think uh, he's got the agility to get out in a bit of space on the Crows. Ruckman in Biglands and Clark. Clark starting on the interchange bench. Tivendale is running with Goodwin. Uh, gets away from him to set up a ball in the Pettifer direction. Coming through was Jackson. He couldn't take it. And here go the Crows with this teeming run through the midfield. Burton for Bode. And he hasn't got anywhere to go. Back onto his favoured left side. Goodwin and John Cock coming up to support. And well done by the Richmond side there to force them back. Bassett. Now he has got Hart and Edwards. And this patient manoeuvre from the Crows. Out wide mark taken by Stevens. Scott Stevens, Stevens. Stevens playing at centre half back for the Crows, playing on young Patterson of the Tigers. Now you've got to say they did that well, Hutto. Yeah, they did. They have taken it via the Cape, but their skills are sure, and their intent was to set somebody up with a mark inside the forward 50. And uh, with that final kick by Stevens, they achieved that. And so Ken McGregor, as you can see, hasn't been taking too many contested marks of late. Only kicked two goals, three for the season. Well, they started him in the back line, and, uh, of course, Ian Perry got that knee injury yep. a few weeks ago, so uh, McGregor's been sent forward. Decent kick required. Didn't look like he made great contact, and you can see the result. The Tigers' tall timber able to work it through for a behind. So, good competitive start by the Tigers here at the Telstra Dome, a venue where they haven't enjoyed a lot of success lately. Kick comes in to Kellaway. Well done by Joel Bowden. So, again, the short kick on the bounce taken by Hyde. He's got a problem here. Good tackle from Riley. Tivendale caught. Hyde forced to go back to Kellaway. They're under pressure. Poor hand by, handball by Kellaway. He gets it back from eventually to Bowden. Now Hyde. Tivendale, so eventually they get out of trouble. But is it just for the moment? McLeod got a hand in there. Andrew McLeod, the champ, concedes ground. Hart chips it short. Out wide, Burton has been very busy early. Brett Burton takes them on and is pinged. Well done by Kane Pettifer. Good chase down from behind. And a free kick to the Tigers at half back. Well, they're certainly putting the pressure on early, uh, Richmond, and that's good to see. Pettifer had a man on. Cracker on the wing. Now, he's got Coglin along the line. Not much else. Deledio would have had to be in a contested situation. You can see into the arms of Edwards. And now they start to put the foot down and go. Centering ball from John Cock. Well placed for Henschel. He's got Burton inside 50. Rashudo's down there as well. He took a shorter option than all of them. Dancing around his... Riley, whose kick lands in the lap of Patrick Bowden. It really wasn't that well thought out in the end by the Crows, and the Tigers are away. Kick comes to the wing, and a good mark, taken low down, Coughlin. Not much play on football at the moment. Coughlin inside the centre square, Simmons. He decides to go back as well. He's got another short option on, Pettifer. Well, Simmons is free because Biglands has got back in front of Richo, the, uh, the Tiger full forward. Needs to try and get used again, Simmons. He's drawing Biglands out, though, as Pettifer chips it short. Patterson. And again, they will try to get a mark inside the forward 50. Crows have got about 13, 14 players in their defensive part of the ground. And that's exactly what the Crows wanted Patterson to do. Kick it long. Tampering almost a spectacular mark. Well tackled by McLeod. And look at the Crows swarm around the footy again. Dowdy, John Cox, Edwards, and now Goodwin. They share it again. The kick from Goodwin wasn't great, though. Pettifer from, from 60 kicks it and delivers beautifully to Tuck. Super kick, Kane Pettifer. And it was the bad Crows kick coming out of the defensive 50. They won it well, did Adelaide. A couple of quick handballs, and then it was a lousy kick 
by uh, Goodwin and Kane Pettifer. He sent one straight back over Goodwin's head and hit Tuck. And the Tigers a chance to get their second goal on the board. Just shows the value of being able to use the ball effectively. So Shane Tuck from 35. Looks pretty good off the boot. It's close, but he squeezed it home. The Tigers have their second. Formas and Kilda Ruckman, and would they love to have him now? Here's the big fella going up against Biglands. He's a good Ruckman, Hutto. Yeah, gets it down to the Lydio too. Although they can't get the clearance. And the Crows, so you just about need sunglasses to look at today with that bright uniform on. Just on the back foot, you can see the marks. The Tigers certainly trying to share it around amongst each other and not rush it into the forward line. Coglin can't escape the gang tackle. Good work in there from Shirley initially, then Thompson, but the turnover again. Cracker lost it. Delidio helped out, and they're inside 50. Simmons has pushed forward, and a good juggling grab under a bit of pressure. Now he's a big kick of the ball. Richo led under it. Tambling might let this bounce through. Oh, the Tigers have got the first three on the board, and they are officially up and about. And that is a very good overhead mark. He juggled it. Have a look at Tambling here, the little Richmond forward. Now, we didn't quite see it, but don't worry. He put a bit of body work on early there on John Cock just to take him under the footy. Well done, Richard Tambling. You created that goal for your big teammate. And Stevens will have his hands full with Simmons, who can play equally as well up forward as he does in the ruck. Neil Craig. Some early concerns, perhaps. Tigers by 16 points. Bounce favours Noble. Tivendale spirals it forward. Chance here for Richardson in front. Well done by the Adelaide defence. Bassett it was, who almost gets it over. In fact, it is now. Is it out on the full? No. Boundary throw in deep in Richmond's forward pocket. But they're doing well out of the centre. And so far, their use of the football has been very good. Tivendale doing a good job running with uh, Goodwin as well. Noble, Meyer kicks it quickly out of the pack. Chance here for Hyde to get their first note taken by Matna. And again, this, this run, this swarm of Adelaide players. McLeod couldn't control it. Matna, Stevens, now McLeod who kept going. Can he use it? Andrew McLeod kicked towards half forward. In front, almost Riley. Spills beautifully, Shirley. Oh, he just brushed it aside. A Richmond player, Coughlin. Bowe, McGregor. He was decked, but he got the kick away towards half forward. Rusciuto. Stripped to the footy by Bowden, well played. Riley tries to keep it in and does. Little paddle to Hedgel, he chips it forward. McGregor's all by himself. Free kick coming Free kick. back though to Riley. Good effort and there by Joel Bowden. Uh, we saw the uh, the strength of Rusciuto trying to shrug him off and uh, Bowden just able to dispossess him of the football. Matner around Jackson from 55. He loads up with a no, dumping kick. It's coming no. back, Chris. Oh, Sorry. It's coming back. So, take three. Andy Marr down there at ground level. Is there any team interchanging more than the other? Uh, not at this stage, but Tyson Edwards has come off uh, Wolsey. He laid that heavy tackle on Coglin early, uh, has gone to the bench. Dr. Brian Sandoz had a look at him. He wrenched his neck quite badly in the tackle. He doesn't seem to be in too much trouble at the moment, but uh, an early concern for the Crows. So, Riley, for the third time, this time kicks it. Almost into the centre square. Stevens. Oh, that's a five-metre kick. Surely play on. Shirley got it. <laughs> kick towards the top of the goal square at the back. Clark, not quite. And Patrick Bowden just socks it through in desperation. Has had more time than he thought. I think Matthew Clark got a surprise that it sneaked through the hands of the players in front of him. Hit him in the stomach and uh, dribbled out. So Bowden goes for a super long kick in for Richardson. But it's going to be... An Adelaide free, is it? It's centre half forward. Surely it's a little strange, is it not, that it would be a free kick there? Well, we haven't, uh, can't pick that one up. That was well and truly off the ball. And it's Clark to take it. Got some options short, but he goes as long as he can. Henschel was the target, but Callaway back in the team this week after being a late draw last week, as brave as ever. Richo peels off. He's got some options through the middle, just gets Pettifer. And Coughlin to his left, but goes for Simmons. It could be a bit of a handful down there for Stevens. Would you pay the mark? Well, the umpire did. Too big for him. Yep. Off to Delidio. Might have to backpedal. Simmons 
Bowden better watch out. The crowd roared to give him the warning, but he didn't hear it. It's been free kick. Advantage will taken by Burton. He's got McGregor inside 50. Oh, that's fierce. Fantastic tackling. And Joel Bowden made amends for his brother. <laughs> Went in and won it. And now gives Patrick a second chance along the wing. Delidio pops it over the top looking for Coglin. Delidio goes back in after it again. Bassett. Edwards will run past Burton here to receive. So he's okay. Up and getting it along. And McGregor still loose. Bowden. Did he interfere? He did. That's the one worry for Joel Bowden against the bigger opponents. He can beat them at ground level, but in the air, he realises that they've got the advantage and sometimes he just gives away free kicks in a bit of desperation. But Joel Bowden, two fantastic tackles in the first 15 minutes of this game. Crows yet to get a goal. Three behinds on the board. And the Tigers, three straight goals. McGregor gives himself... A little bit of a better angle. The goal umpire, yeah, he hadn't moved. <laughs> but uh, another poster. And four behinds for the sluggish Crows. Although they've had some fine passages of play, Rob. Yeah, but they still haven't got a goal. And we're into the 17th minute of this game. What's happening now? There's a free kick again going to Matthew Clark. Must now, be out of the huddle, isn't it? it? There must be holding going on there. Well, Clark got Matt in a free, and he marks 45 from goal. Now, that's the second play, isn't it, with the Richmond kick in, and they found a free kick. Against Simmons, it would appear. But, gee, two costly mistakes there by the Tigers. Should the free kick go to the goal screen? Well, it's a good point, too. That's where uh, the ball is. Yep. So, Matt now is a thumping kick. will kick from 50. We'll have no trouble with the distance. Can he kick it straight? It's close. It's home. First goal to the Crows. Through Martin Matna. Eight points the margin again. Simmons back in the centre circle, opposed to Clark. Foley, who's pretty good at doing that, extracting it out of the middle. Hart. McLeod, Edwards, all good names, but the target was missed. Delidio had to put the body on the line. He certainly didn't fail in that duty. Tuck never does, but his handball astray. Matna also misses his handball target. Coughlin found the going very difficult there. Inevitably a ball up. Wallsy, really obvious down here how Richmond are matching, if not actually exceeding Adelaide in the contest around the footy at the moment. They've been really strong and close, haven't they? Put a bit of pressure on and uh, got their tail up at the moment, the Tigers chance for them to win only their second opening quarter of the season yeah and Richo was late there yeah the experienced Ben Hart getting in front of Richo he knows where to position himself after 305 games 306 today you'd know where to go wouldn't you Edwards for Thompson Tigers yeah. doing a good job just of shutting down one-on-one yep. on one, you can see Adelaide Crows haven't got one player in their own forward 50 at the moment. Rusciuto out at centre-half forward. Forced to retreat, and now it's Rutten streaming after the pass from Hart. Searching for Rusciuto, but he has not had a sniff yet. Callaway getting back with Reigns, who's got the oh. job on him. That was not a good handball. Running the gauntlet, he was prepared to put his body back on the line, as the Tigers have been. Well done, Coglin. some good heavy work. Still the Crows are swarming around. Dowdy left it behind. Van Burlow's in there as well. And the Tigers will be happy with scraps like this, I reckon. Well, they've done well so far in close at the stoppages, Richmond. Has it been a strength of theirs this year? Uh, the Adelaide Crows are ranked number three. Have a look at the disposal. Simmons, the Ruckman, with eight. Terrific. Callaway at halfback playing well. Thompson scraps it towards the top of the goal square. Coming out, Henshaw, but well done, Joel Bowden. Get the arms free. Now he's got a long handball option, uses it, Polo. Outstanding debut a couple of weeks ago, a little quieter last week. A couple of bounces, long towards half forward. Richardson in good position, Rutten claimed it, played on quickly, Hart. Gee, they've got the numbers there again, Bassett. Back to Thompson, around Richardson and just delivers out wide with a lot of poise. And the mark's taken out there by Rutten. 
So they're getting numbers back the Crows just to stop these Richmond attacks long towards Hart. Didn't quite judge it. I wonder whether the sun might have been a problem there. Van Burlo, little give okay. Thompson, clever. Drills it inside the mark taken by McGregor. Off towards Edwards. Edwards runs, breaks through one tackle, runs to 50. Long penetrating kick is a goal. Second on the board of the Crows. They kick the last two. People now just two points behind. And Clark trying to get them going, generate something out of the middle. And he does it successfully as it turns out, although. Coughlin in there to intercept and Foley good running from behind Callaway sets up the big man Richo was charging couldn't get on the end of it ground level footy to be won Bassett the bigger crow's bodies there being held up by some tough work and young Danny Meyer in there well in the last month or so of football in the first quarter no team has got more than two goals against the crow so you'd have to say the Tigers have done pretty well if they can go in quarter time with a lead that will be terrific for their confidence no one really wanted it out of the ruck well done by Tuck Matna put the head down on the bottom up Coglin has an Adelaide free kick out of that and it's going to Matna who took them all on tried to wade through and must have got some high contact Thompson fine pick up from Melbourne who he wanted to go home Doughty. Ben Hart looks to be in real trouble here, boys. Left forearm or wrist coming off. Seems to be in a great deal of pain. Yeah, that does not look good. The Crows continue to move it through McGregor. Rusciuto. This time gets away from Reigns. Now Goodwin's pushed into the 50. And John Cock likewise has run forward. He might centre it. Hope for Hinchel. It wasn't a well-placed kick. Simmons over the top. Took a big mark like it was a full forward going for a specky. Unfortunately, he's at the other end of the ground. He's having a terrific first quarter, the big fella. That is his ninth disposal. Hardigan, oh, shocking kick straight into McGregor. Gives the Crows a big chance here. Henschel, Rusciuto, look out. Well done by Tuck. Patrick Bowden, cool, well played. The kick out wide. Will it get the height? Yes, pursued by Thompson. He's got support, though, Cracker. Now, Tabling is free. The kick from Crack is perfect. Richard Tamley can run here. Can he find a target? Kick towards Richardson. Over his head, couldn't take the mark. Clark doubling back. Good handball, Dowdy. Dowdy's got plenty of options here, and he kicks short. Bassett takes the mark with the one hand. Hard a big loss for them, Rob. He will be, because uh, he's the one who controls the back line. He gives the directions, the most experienced by a long, long way. The other end of the ground, Hutter, I'm watching Rusciuto pretty closely. He looks a bit out of sorts as well. And interesting, Andrew Range, young Andrew Range, given the job on Rusciuto, doing it well at this stage. And he's kicked 20 goals in five games, Rusciuto, so he certainly hasn't been out of sorts coming into the game. So good work from Range so far. The Crows through Bassett, wobble it in there. Let's see if Rusciuto can beat two. Bode's also down there. The Tigers need to get themselves sorted out. There's yellow and black jumpers everywhere, and they do. Newman flirting with danger somewhat, but finding Joel Bowden, who can go to Hyde. Yeah, they do like to switch it in their defensive 50, the Tigers, and they've done it well again. Hyde's been averaging 18 possessions a game. He's certainly getting better each year. Callaway. Couple on the wing, flat-footed was Tuck. And it was beautifully read and picked off by Riley. Well done. The Crows by hand. Thompson involved with Madden Edwards. And Thompson again. Handcuffed by Hyde. Good tackling, Tigers. And the Tigers lead by two with under two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Patrick Bowden just kicks across the ground. Simmons. He's taken six marks coming in for his 11th disposal, Simmons. Kellaway's also been prominent coming in for his 10th disposal. And Tamley's got it on centre wing. Well, the Tigers are in front, and uh, their leading goal kicker, Matthew Richardson, yet to have a kick. Patrick Bowden gets it from Reigns, so they affect another switch. And they find the loose player. He jars free. It's Chris Hyde. Has one bounce. Good chase from Hitchell. Great shepherd from Newman. Hyde 
confronted, handball's back, there's a poor handball to Richardson, he had to try and take it off his bootlaces, scrambles it forward only as far as Stevens, and he hands off to Edwards, and Edwards finds Riley on centre wing, so the Crows uh, a chance again to go forward. So Riley, Goodwin, and uh, there's another one on over the top, Mark taken, massive in unfamiliar territory, breaking, going for McGregor, and they still might end up the quarter in front. Massey's going to have another crack at it here. That's a little disappointing for Richmond. Well, even psychologically. Well, it's disappointing. Mark Coughlin fell to ground, allowed Massey to play on, and then got up very slowly, and Massey was able to run down and accept this pass. So yep. two pieces of perhaps play that Mark Coughlin wouldn't be happy with. Massey hasn't scored this year. Former Carlton player. Yep. Four seasons at Carlton, five with the Crows. Heading up towards the 100 game mark, playing game number 93. 25 years of age. Chris Massey misses everything. So Richmond win the quarter. And a big psychological boost for the Tigers, Rob. It is, Hano. And uh, look, there, there's quite a few Richmond. Second quarter underway, the Tigers by a couple of points. Newman, quick kick out of the centre is OK. Mark by Delidio. So the Tigers, can they get another one early in this second term? Kick out wide. That man Simmons on the sun, I think, uh, just got in his way there for the moment. The chance at ground level. They try and shovel it out. Well done. Back to Simmons. He's on attacking 50. He just slipped the tackle. Lines up from 40. And Bassett marks right on the line. In fact, he touches it through. So... Uh, behind an early one to the Tigers. They lead by three points. And Troy Simmons involved again. John Cock. Thumping kick out wide. Massey's got it in space at half back. He's got Goodwin running for him. And the kick is OK. And Goodwin marks on centre wing. Chips it further afield. Burton. Good pressure from Callaway. But Burton's able to take the mark. Now McGregor's deep. He decides to kick in McGregor's direction. Henschel in from the side. Fist at ground level. Chance for Rusciuto. Slips the handball. Shirley. Dowdy. Burton who fired up. But the Dowdy handball was poor. Burton still got plenty of time. Left foot kick to the top of the goal square. And coming in high. And what's going to happen? A free kick to the Richmond side. And for a push, it'll go to Chris Hyde. No, I don't think it will go to Chris Hyde. It's going to Patrick Bowden. He finally got it sorted out. Over to his brother, and now Hyde's got away. Richo pushing for him on the wing. But he's manned up by Rutten, so he's forced to try and improvise. Went for an ambitious kick for Polo, and there was Crows all around. Thompson, out of defence. Stevens uses Doughty. Everyone in a clump at centre-half forward. Plenty of Tigers there. Burton had to contend with about three or four. Patrick Bowden was quite clever there initially. Now... He has to get rid of it, and there was some interference. Free kick paid, and this time no advantage. Well, the big bomb into the uh, Adelaide Crows forward line is something that their coach wouldn't be all that happy about. Bowden kicks it short. Callaway. Handball. Oh, put Rains under a bit of pressure, but he was good enough to get out of trouble. Penetrating kick out wide. Edwards, our position, Hardigan. At the fall, it's all Adelaide. Goodwin. Forced to go back. Edwards, she's got a nice, Hardigan. nice sidestep. Uh, Edwards did it brilliantly. On to Bigland, so his handball was poor. Went behind Massey, allows Deledio in. Now loses Richo from 45 off a step. Kicks a goal. No, he hits the post. Only that can happen oh. to Richo. Gee, it just swung late. Cannon straight into the post. So too early behind to the Tigers. And another Adelaide free kick. What's going to happen here? The ball's coming to 50, really, I think. And it'll be taken by John Cock at centre half back. Out to the wing. Doughty. McLeod gliding off the wing. Burton. Polo really learning a lesson. And he's doing pretty well so far as Burton. On the bounce, was it? It was on the bounce for Thompson. And he's turned it over. And now it's the Tigers' turn to stream off half back. And that's a terrific grab. The Foley kick from Jackson. Beautifully judged. The kick not so well judged. Tuck not able to handle the hot potato. 
Edward Stevens. Crows making their fair share of mistakes at the moment. Absolutely. Their handball skills and kicking skills are way off at the moment. Shirley, McLeod, you've got to give some credit to the Tigers. This is a better build-up. No one coming at him. Such is the way of modern footy. And John Cock kicks the goal and puts the Crows in front. When New York's finest come together. The goals of the match to respond to Richmond's opening burst. And the Crows, for the first time this afternoon, find themselves in front. They lead by two points. Simmons gets it down to Taku, burst from the centre circle. Drives it towards full forward. Cracker and John Cock, ball to the back. What can Cracker conjure up here? Hard up against the line. Little slip and then proceeds to kick it into McLeod. So McLeod now. Casual couple of bounces around the boundary line at half back, chips it short. Mark taken by Shirley. Some of their names starting to look a bit more dangerous now. This bloke's been good since the start of the game. Edwards, his 12th possession after running from half back, has the footy landing at full forward, but McGregor out bustled and outnumbered. Courageous Callaway, and you'll see that all game. Andrew Callaway running back with the fly to the ball. He's a beauty. He's one of those players who die for his teammates. Foley and Bowden collaborate. It ends with Hyde on the wing. And he was able to ride the initial tackle. Forced to go backwards and sideways for Simmons. Possession number 14 to the giant Ruckman. He is having a blinder. Now, what next? They wax amongst themselves. Bowden committed, but he too is a pretty slippery customer. Hard to stop. Venturing past the wing, but not sure what... He had in mind, was hoping, I think, for Cracker, but John Cock led him to the ball. Goodwin starting to find it a little bit more consistently in this quarter. Bassett marshalling the troops back there in the absence of Hart, and he gets Stevens. Stevens has been handy at centre-half back, hasn't played there much in his career, but uh, doing the job with McGregor going forward. Thompson. It's been an outstanding form for the Crows. Oh, Callaway again with courage. Almost tapped it over the back to Patrick Bowden. His handball. Eventually on the bounce, got to Coglin. He waits, draws a player over the top. Meyer now. Chance at half forward. A casual bounce. Needs to get rid of it quickly. Is decked after he got rid of it. And is it down the field? I yep. think it might be. Yep. So, uh, well, you could almost say clever play by Danny Meyer there to just delay the kick. And the relay free kick will be taken by Andrew Cracker. Let's have another look at it. Rob? Well, deemed to be a bit uh, overly aggressive and, and a fraction late, I would say. Thompson and, uh, coming from the ground, incidentally. Yeah, Thompson coming off. Uh, he can do that sort of a thing. Look, you, you can't fault his endeavour because he wants to impress with the Crows after starting his career with Melbourne, but he just has to temper it a little bit. So Cracker comes in and misses from 25 metres. Richmond can't afford to miss those sort of opportunities, and they draw to within a point of the Crows. Yeah, a couple of misses there from Richardson and Cracker would have been handy for the Tigers. Yeah, and I think uh, Terry Wallace has to start to think about putting some outriders into the space because uh, Crow's taking it away with ease at the kick-ins. And that Richmond player on the mark, Mark Coglin, gee, he's, uh, he's half the player that he was. He just doesn't have the, the go about him that uh, he had a couple of years back when he made a name for himself as a real goer. Make a best and fairest winner, and uh, but he's... Had the injuries, he's, we spoke to Terry Wallace before the game today and just checked that his physical condition was OK, and it is. And uh, so let's hope that Coglin can get back to his best as the season progresses. Meantime, it's Adelaide leading by one, and this pretty busy intersection at the moment, well, the, the, the 50 line for the Crows. I reckon that's the rule of the week for the umpires. Make sure that the man with the ball gets back in his right position and before he plays on. Six inches offline. You're yeah. not saying there's a rule of the week, are you, Rob? Of course there is. Yeah. Well, Rob. what's the geese going to do? The geese has got to come up with some uh, coaching tips for his umpires, just like a, a football coach does, Hutto. They, they say they don't do that, though. They don't focus on one rule. That's not what they do. <laughs> One what they say and what they do are <laughs> two different things. One point the difference, and it's the Crows in front. He just about got strangled, Andrew he did Cracker. He didn't get a free kick. Coglin's handball intercepted by Riley. He loops the handball towards McLeod, who just accelerates away from Meyer. Electrifying stuff from Andrew McLeod. Then he was tripped. Advantage called. Chance for Matner. Now it's coming back. It's coming back. And Pennefer and Matner 
get involved at half forward, but it will come back to Andrew McLeod, who was tripped. Let's have a look at it again. Gee, just clipped his heels. So McLeod forced to go backwards. Massey. He affects the switch as he kicks it out to Stevens on centre wing. He kicks towards the lead of Henschel, who got rid of Bowden. Yeah, clever play. What the Adelaide Crows are doing, Chris O, they are getting their forwards to bunch, if you like, uh, a, a, a huddle. They have a, a group of them, five or six, in a tight area, and they block for each other to go out into space. So they do it really well. It's smart, uh, smart football, strategy in football, and I'm sure it's something that they practice a lot. Six goals, six from said shots, Trent Henschel. So hasn't been the most reliable kick for goal, but this will need to be a beauty from pretty much right on 50. Long to the top of the goal square, and Biglands was... In fact, the one up might have touched it over the line, so margin out to two points now in favour of the Crows. And uh, the Crows have got outriders for the Richmond kick. So the Richmond players have pretty much grouped right down the middle, that middle corridor as we see it. And that's the safety valve release to Callaway, the short in the back pocket. Uh, Crows will be pretty happy with this situation because they've held them up. Eventually, Cracker's got two to beat. And the ball wobbled a little in the air. Would have been a couple of nervous moments. So having to trust their skills here. Delidio back to Cracker. Going by hand, now Reigns puts the foot down and gives it everything he can. Big fly at the back. But uh, Hardigan, maybe there was interference even further in front of him. Going against Patterson, taken by Stevens, and now McLeod. As they wind up, they head into attack again through Goodwin. At halfback, Simon Goodwin just chips to Massey, who's been pretty good today, Chris Massey. And Rutten has run from full back to mark at half forward. Richo a fraction late. He overcommitted too, so Rutten kicks towards McGregor. Good fist from Patrick Bowden. McGregor fights on. But good tackling there and allows Patrick Bowden to come away. Timmendale under the pump and they had no opportunity there. And the umpire decides to bounce and rightfully so. Well, Troy Simmons off for the Tigers and uh, he's just about worn himself out. Had 14 disposals and that's more than anyone else on the ground. Trent Noble to do the ruck work. Beaten by Biglands. Riley. Good handball, Matner, forced to go back to Edwards. The run, though, of McLeod is there to offer assistance to Tyson Edwards. Long into the pocket, Henschel again, carried under the ball by Bowden. Richardson and McGregor fighting on, ball close to the line. Richardson, well done, Patrick Bowden, slipped the handball through the pack to Newman. Hardigan, now Joel Bowden from half back, just wobbled it, he didn't have much on, kicked it straight onto the chest of Tyson Edwards. It's a bit of a scrap at the moment. Bit of an arm wrestle. The Crows trying to get into full flight. Bassett, he gives it plenty. A couple of big flyers. Thompson giving away the free. Biglands down there as well. There hasn't been a lot of method in their madness up forward today for the Crows, Rob? No, a lot of big bombs in. And again, it's, it's something that they wouldn't like to do. But the Tigers have uh, just put a bit of pressure on them. And they haven't been able to free up as they would like the Adelaide Crows. Look, Richmond are, are to be commended for what they've done. Trailing by only two points. And uh, more than halfway through this second quarter. I, I reckon one of the things that the Tigers are doing also is they're trying to keep as much possession as they can. They just want to deny Adelaide the ball. So you don't see Richmond bombing it away. And this, this sort of play, whilst it's a little bit frustrating, it's probably more frustrating for the Adelaide Crows players because they can't get a hand on the leather. Well, it's the stuff that they've uh, dealt out to successfully to other teams. Bowden. This is where it gets a little tricky. That was touched off the boot, I think. That's why they were committed to playing on. Well done from Patterson. Farming it out. They've worked it through. Newman just about within range. Tivendale. Play on. Not Play far on. enough was the call. Richmond support. No, one one up has paid it, I think. It's going to have to be a ball up, yeah. surely. The, the Richmond supporters will go mad, but uh, the umpire... No, umpire, they're, they're paying the mark, aren't No, they? I don't think they are. Uh, you're going to have to play a ball up. Umpire Chris Dillon, number one, not the man in picture. He said it was touched, and that is good umpiring to follow through with the decision. They might get a chance for a goal anyway. Coughlin got the handball clear. Newman, who just about started it all, finishes it off, and they're back in front. The 11-minute mark 
of the first quarter. We're 14 minutes in second term. So long time between goals, but they find themselves back in front. Noble wins it out. Edwards first to retrieve the ball. Van Burlow, Massey. Shirley bumped off it. Well done by Newman. Oh, gee, don't know about that. Looked to be a fair bump. And the umpire, umpire McInerney, just doing, going through the motions of how to, how to do a bump rock. Mark Rusciuto in picture. Just two disposals for the game. Andrew Raines has done a super job on the pro star. Kick comes to Thompson. Was he saying the bump was in the back, Chris? That's well, like I think that's up. what he was saying. Low kick towards Henshaw, and he's got it. Great chest mark. Great kick coming from Thompson. Because Joel Bowden was right there on Henshaw's back. And the kick was perfect. And Henshaw was able to just grasp the ball. And the chance here for the Crows yeah. for a quick reply. I like the way Henshaw moves. He reads it well. He presents well. He just hasn't got a strong leg. Well, yeah. his kicking hasn't been great, Rob. 6-7 so far yeah. this season from set shots. You have a look at the legs, and they're a bit on the skinny side, and uh, you'd just like to see him uh, bulk up a little bit there. He, he doesn't get much more than about 48 metres with his best kick. He took his time, didn't he? Yes. Stuttering run, and he's missed again. So, you just see, even in his run approach to kick the ball, it's, he's a little bit nervous yeah. and not composed. So, another missed opportunity there for the Crows. Eight marks inside their forward 50, the Crows, so they'd be pretty happy with that. Richmond, on the other hand, have just had the three. There's that bunch of Tigers all breaking as one, but <laughs> Callaway not confident to hit one of them. Instead, went as short as he could to Bowden. And I reckon the Tigers would be happy to go in at half-time, just a couple of points up in a very, very low-scoring first half. And again, it's a case of don't let the Crows get hold of the footy. Newman... Bowden. And didn't we see this with Adelaide Crows early in the year, Hutto? When Against they Collingwood. Collingwood. Yep. yep. What goes around comes around. <laughs> Tivendale. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Newman. Back to Bowden. They're all increasing their stats anyway. Simmons is going to get down to try and provide an option. Now the Crows, Bowden needs to release this pretty quickly because... The Crows might suddenly be putting a, a lock on them, but he gets it clear. Well done. Good penetration in the kick. I reckon I know what Neil Craig will be saying at half-time to his boys, and that is just pummel the Richmond players every chance you get. Get them tired, get them hurting, because if we can do that, their skills will fall away. At the moment, the Tiger skills are pretty good. They're hitting their targets. Is that what you tell them, Rob? Absolutely. Pummel them? Pummel them. <laughs> Well, hey, this is fantastic. Can you imagine if this was getting played at Amy Stadium, the Crows supporters would be off their head. Hope you've got Joel Bowden in your dream team. He's, <laughs> he's getting plenty of it at the moment. 17 it, possessions. He'll get it again in a minute. Yeah, well, what they've got to do, the Crows, is go one-on-one. -on -one. They, they, they've done this to other teams. They've got to be strictly one-on-one, -on -one, and they're not. And there we see Henschel letting the team down. Now, now McGregor is not on Bowden. They've had it for two minutes, just over two minutes. The yeah. Tigers. Oh, it's fantastic. Finds Reigns. It is just solely to keep the ball out of the hands of the opposition, to go in at half-time in front and frustrate the hell out now, of the top of the ladder team. Callaway, if he can hit Simmons, he's a chance. Oh, oh he missed. Oh. After all that, the world's biggest build-up. Oh. He missed. <laughs> and now the Crows. What will their response be here? Will they go and race it down and try and kick a goal in 15 seconds? Thompson. No, went for Henschel. Good fist. Gets a second crack. Just blazes this time. McGregor and the Birdmen are down there. That's a free kick. Over the shoulder. 18 marks in a row the Tigers had before Andy Callaway turned it over. And they got so far with it. <laughs> That's a big kick from Meyer. Tambling has to fly over the top. So this time, a different tactic, and it didn't work. Van Burlow's kick, not a great one either, though. Well done from Pettifer to Tambling. Now, Pettifer running for him here. This might be a bit more of a fluid passage of play. Well, he committed himself. I bet he wished he didn't. Tuck, hacking it forward. Well done. Deft hands from Patterson. 
Tigers on the rise, advancing through half forward. Tivendale on his wrong side, but he gets his man. And Cracker to have a shot for goal. I think one thing there, Hutto, you said he wished he didn't, but at least when you play on, things do open up for you. Yeah. And although he played on, he was under pressure, they had players to support and they were able to take it and uh, Cracker having a shot at goal. And he, and he missed one from there. He kicked to the left of the goals only about seven or eight minutes ago. And uh, Neil Craig would be pretty frustrated. Now, he invented this uh, keepings off game. Now he's got to solve it. <laughs> Cracker. Nails it. Harvey Norman to get a goal. Only had the two touches. And Terry Wallace, he will just instill so much confidence in his players with his coaching because he's come up with a plan that has just frustrated the Adelaide Crows and may well put his team in front at half-time. Well, Richmond have been forced back to half-back but they've still got possession. Tivendale, oh, gee, wild kick out of mid-air from Matt and allows Meyer in. Cracker has been good. Tuck needs to get rid of it. Scrambles it towards half-fort. Hardigan needs to be clean here with his hands. He isn't. He gives it up. You know, get a free kick. So, okay. 65 from goal. Loose player. Pettifer can run here. Kick a goal from 45. He kicks. And squeezes it through. Saints of this Richmond team. Neil Craig's crows. On the back foot, at least just for the moment, they... Trail by 15. Bo trying to generate something out of the middle. Van Berlo's left. Cut off. And Pettifer, inspired football at the moment. For Bowden, they're running. He, he, Neil Craig's put extra men in his defence. He is concerned. So Richmond just would be, I reckon, happy to play that possession footy again for the next couple of minutes, Rob. Absolutely. If they can go into half-time, leading by 15. It would be sensational. It would be a terrific effort by them. And you've got to put it down. It's it's wholly and solely because of the coaching by Terry Wallace. And the implementation by the team. Oh, well, his team have carried it through, but he came up with the idea, Hutto. <laughs> Give the coach some credit. <laughs> How do you know? Might have been one of the players that came up with it. John Cock running off half-back. This is the Crows that we're more familiar with. McLeod looking for McGregor like a wily defender. Smart play, Joel Bowden. Just a little bit of a nudge in the back. Let it come over the top. And again, they will just try to wind the clock down. As you can see, just under two minutes of play. 50 metre penalty. Going over the mark there, Kenny McGregor. Gee, if they can get another goal, uh, Chris O go in 21 points up. Fair 50. About 70. There's, so, a, there's a Richmond player who's just come off the interchange bench and he will receive it. Yep, that was Hyde. And now Jackson. Richo hasn't seen a lot of light down there today. Uh, Richo says, what's the point in leading? Because... He, uh, he doesn't just like... Little, little he, chip passes. He's not a big fan of this sort of footy. Now they've kicked it over his head. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's dropped it, Burton. He's taken some fantastic marks over the years. Dropped that one. Didn't matter in the end. Bassett's clearing kick. Henschel, good, strong body work. The Tigers, they stood oh. up. It was a poor handball. Tough for Coughlin. Edwards, Stevens. A minute 15 for the Crows. She Matner on a fast break. To half forward. Well done from Patterson. Oh. But now he's got to follow it up. Dowdy. Dowdy. With Thompson running beside him. Plenty of Tigers in front of him. McGregor. And they're going to have to be patient. Henschel. Matna. Newman. Holding the ball. And the Tiger fans are on their feet. Well, some of them are. And even those that are sitting down are pretty happy. Newman. Joel Bowden. Possession number 20, Michael. Quite remarkable. Couple of bounces and a third. Draws the player. Handball a bit shabby, but it's OK. Simmons in space. Got plenty of time. His kick is poor. Cut off by Bo. So, still time for the Crows. Switches on if they can do it. Bassett, Massey. Links with Goodwin. Pops it over the top. McLeod running his Edwards. Kick towards half forward. Biglands. 
10 seconds left time for a mark and goal kicks into the pocket and the mark taken there by John Cock siren will go and he was protected very well there by Scott Thompson uh, Thompson just behind John Cock and uh, we've seen John Cock who's playing back pocket already kick a goal in this second quarter and uh, Scott Thompson just smart protective play to enable John Cock to take the mark and not get smashed because he was running back with a fly to the footy. He didn't know what was coming. How long since they've kicked a goal, Chris? Huh? 22 minutes, Hutto. He leads the Crows in rebounds, rebound 50s, and now he has a chance to kick his second of the afternoon. Tough angle, though, as you can see. Hard up against the line. It's a wonderful kick, but it's across the face. No score. So at half time, Rob, the, the Tigers lead it by 15 points. Adelaide, Adelaide Crows, the premiership favourites. The Tigers coming off the back of a shellacking from the Swans. What the Crows have done, Hutto, they've got Biglands down there in the goal square. Matthew Clark doing the ruck work. First time we've seen the two big Adelaide ruckmen on the ground at the one time. So Bowden's on big Biglands, isn't he? But the ball's at the other end of the ground. And there's Richo trying to palm it out, trying to help Chris Hyde who uh, may have been better to try and force a ball up then because there's just crows everywhere. But they have not found the touch that we are accustomed to. Richo's hatched that one. Shirley found a path out. But again, they missed targets. Newman up with it. For Patterson, he can switch it here into the middle. Simmons. Pitiful leading for him. Gets him. Myers back in the goal square. He goes shorter than that. Delidio, they're no closer to goal. Simmons pushed into the forward 50. Clark hot on his heels. And there's Tuck. Now, he's a big kick chain, Tuck. He may be worth having a shot from there. He doesn't want to because, look at this. Uh, I'll tell you what, Matthew Clark, where are you? You've got 10, 15 metres off your opponent and you will pay the penalty. And what Richmond are doing is just taking uncontested mark one after the other. Their average for a game is 90. Already, one minute into the third quarter, they've had 84. Uh, Matthew Clark, a little unlucky there. He went to Callaway, who was who led towards the boundary line and uh, because someone didn't pick uh, Callaway up. So Matthew Clark taken out of the uh, action there. Never thought I'd see the day that Robert Walls would scold Matthew Clark. Incorrectly. <laughs> Simmons kicks the goal. Maybe oh, the that. Tigers. Gotcha. The game is played. Ten marks, 17 possessions, two goals. Back in the centre. Clark up too early. Thompson. Handball to Webwoods now to Doughty. So, Crows need something here. Long towards half on Burton. Oh, clever mark. Spectacular he is. And he's marked 55 from goal. Brett Burton kicks into the pocket. Oh, Henschel on a good lead. He disguised that kick superbly. Burton. He did, he did, Michael. You're so right. Burton looked like he was going to launch into a big one. Top of the goal square. All of a sudden, he pulled the kick. And Henschel uh, was found on the lead. Now, this is the man who's a bit shaky on the set shot for goal. 6-8 this year, Trent Henschel. Only 25 metres, but the angle reasonably acute there's a good look at it he doesn't walk in quick enough he's, he's taken a long time yeah but as a result there i think he might have squeezed it through and the crows have one fundings take a lot of care uh, the uh, crows will have to be without him for the rest of the afternoon and maybe some weeks to come back to 15. They've received a real shock this afternoon, the Crows. Will it be enough to get them going? Cracker wobbles one inside 50. Richo and Jackson in amongst it. Here's Matthew Richardson trying to create by hand. Matner off the ground backwards. Good Tiger forward pressure, though, and they've forced a throw in. Couple of good efforts there from Daniel Jackson. Just applying pressure to this Adelaide defence. Clark and Simmons, Tuck, McLeod, Dowdy, Edwards, oh, it won't get to him. Cracker, got the hands free at the crucial stage. Newman spotted Simmons, he just couldn't find him this time. Gee, Bassett terrific with a fist on that footy. Matna scooped it up. 
McLeod, not a bad bloke to be cruising past. Good chase from Jackson. Couldn't stop the ball getting to Biglands. Henschel again makes the lead into the pocket. This time Bent Biglands doesn't honour that lead. Just sets it up. And that should favour the Tigers, although Burton was in amongst it. Well done from Patterson getting back to help out. And that would please Tiger coach Terry Wallace. And Mark Rusciuto, just the two disposals in this game. Amazing, isn't it? Delidio for high. Bowden Patrick with him. Tambling from behind. Did well, at least competitive, but he's hurt. And the Crows have won the footy. And Goodwin did a nice job in getting it to Henschel on the wing. Now Rusciuto makes his move this time. Biglin's the longer target. But again, not very direct movement. There was some jumper there. The umpire spotted it. The extra height and weight to worry for Joel Bowden, but he was caught red-handed. And Rhett Biglands is within range, even though it will be a fair bit of angle to deal with. Well, going into this game, Rhett Biglands had kicked nine goals, one behind. So you'd have to say he's been kicking very accurately this season. He's only had two kicks this afternoon. Good time to get one online. But he hasn't been able to do it. The Crows cut the margin though to 14. And Joel Bowden, the 200 gamer, to do the kicking in. Now he's got Tuck free in the back pocket. Now Tuck's got no one to go to. Adelaide have manned up the dock side of the ground which is where Tuck is and that's why and there's a good look at it you can see down the left hand side all Crows players so yep. he's forced to go back you would have thought this would be what uh, Neil Craig would have stressed at half time you cannot let them get a free player so they do it pretty well Richmond they switch play and Reigns is able to get it to Kellaway now the Lidio's running hard he'll accept it from Kellaway and he can play on here confronted by Biglands didn't have much to go to so forced just to retreat Kickback not great. Kellaway took plenty of time, but he had it. Bowden. And back he goes to Brother Patrick. Reigns. Centre half back. Now Newman's free on the docks wing to left of screen. He's not looking in that direction. He wants to his intent on going to the other side and there's a short option there. 90 seconds they've had control of the ball, Richmond. Probably can't see across there with the sun. Yeah, and, and again, the Crows cannot man up to prevent this from happening. Reigns. 14 points the margin. The Tigers doing it pretty well at the moment. Hyde. Tenth mark in this exchange, this passage. <laughs> Rain slipped over, but Hyde, and they switch it again. Joel Bowden, still backward to the wing. He'd be happy with the ball in the hands of this man because he just reads the play so very, very well. Hyde. Two and a half minutes they've had control of the ball. Joe's haven't touched it in two and a half minutes. Joel Bowden must stink, Wolsey. Fair to you. No one goes within 50 metres of Joel Bowden. No, uh, you're right. Uh, it, uh, his, his opponent is Biglands, and Biglands is 40 metres away from him at the moment. moment. Cracker. And here he goes again. <laughs> this is uh, modern footy, folks. And yeah. if your team's in front, who cares? Why again. can't the Crows man up here, Wolsey, and get them one-on-one? -on -one? Well, they're trying, but I think they might have finally got it. They might have finally got it. No, they're still... Oh, yeah. Just about. Yeah. The umpire's saying play on. The umpire's saying play on. Right. You only need to have one player drop off, and, and it was Rutten there who dropped off on Richardson. So Richardson takes his first mark of the afternoon. Called to play on. Oh, he's got to get around. Rutten does. Brushes him aside with a bounce. <laughs> Hairball was poor, but taken by Tuck. Well stripped of it by Bogue. Adelaide regained possession. It's flicked out towards Dowdy. Throws a chance here. He can't pick it up, Dowdy, but he's got support. Edwards. Goodwin sweeps it wide towards Burton. 
burden he's forced to prop now because he hasn't got much on he's forced to kick across the ground but thompson in good position marks played on off to shirley now rutten back to shirley they're at half forward the crows massey's got it now drives it long to the top of the goal square richmond have got the number oh! Now we can sit back for two minutes while <laughs> Richmond keep possession. We'll take a break. <laughs> I can't have a cup of tea. Bowden kicks it to Tuck, who's got it at half back. That was a One, spectacular two, mark. Three. Oh. This is the fourth mark. We'll just try to keep track of the marks. Fourth. And they've got spare players. Five. Six. Amazing, isn't it? Seven. Now it's one on one. This is where it's where they should kick it long and trust the ability of their teammates, and that's exactly what's happened. Jackson's got it. Where to next? By hand. Reigns. Again by hand. Delidio. They're starting to close around. They found a way through. Tibbendale. Can they hit a target? Yes, you bet! Shane Tuck takes the mark. This is a game of chess, isn't it? And they are doing it so well, the Tigers. Well, just how... Let's have another look at the pedder for Mark for a start. Gee, what a ripper. In amongst 80,000 uncontested marks, not bad to get one like that, is it? But, Wolsey, it must be harder than it looks to man up one-on-one. -on -one. It must be. Well, it is, because you only need to have one... And they block for each other. You might be on your opponent, and you've got him covered, and all of a sudden, uh, one of the opposition players just steps inside and screens you out of the way. Well, that was a big kick for Shane Tuck, but unfortunately for the Tiger fans, he's missed. And now John Cock brings it back into play, and let's see what sort of tactics the Crows employ. Well, Richard have played the huddle, so it's left a couple of cr uh, Crows free. Rutten gets it to Riley. Centre wing. Chip is OK to Edwards. Well, they're bringing Matthew Clark off. Bigland still playing up forward. McGregor coming on. Dowdy gives it to Riley. Kick into the pocket. Rashudo fist to Reigns and over the boundary line. Rob, is there anything else they can do, Adelaide, uh, when Richmond employ those tactics? I don't think there is, Hutto. I don't think there is. They've just got to work hard. They've got to make sure that they cover players behind the ball because how many times have you seen Richmond kick the ball backwards? That's against Bigler's because he caught the boundary throw in and didn't dispose of it properly. Should Adelaide, when they get the ball, do the same tactics? Yeah, the problem is Adelaide's behind, Hutto. They've got to get goals on the board, so they've got to be a bit more attacking. Richmond are happy if nobody else scores for the rest of the game. Simmons, the kick to Cracker was a good one. Cracker will get the free kick, he will. He's been very good, Andy Cracker, today. Coming in for his 20th disposal. Although, in a game like this, disposals don't necessarily there mean we go. that much. See, that's the one going backwards. Reigns, oh. a dangerous kick. Henshaw affects the score, but Bowden keeps his feet. Well played. Just ambles away. Around Burton with nonchalant ease. Oh, his handball is poor, though. Gee, he did all the hard work, Patrick Bowden. Riley gives it back to McGregor. Now Tyson Edwards lends a hand. Looking for a target, concedes ground back to John Cock. In space at half back, he's got nowhere to go. Eventually, I've... Dowdy jars himself free and he marks just backward of the wing. I've never seen a game of football played like this. Never seen a game of football played like this and uh, I'm excited by it because it's different and it's it's proving very effective for the Tigers. I'm, I'm excited, Wolsey. I hope I never see another one like this. <laughs> oh, but, hello. But, I know what you're saying, but you don't want football played like this all the time, surely. Well, all Terry Wallace wants to do is give his team no. a chance to win. Full credit to him. He's, he's doing that, and you admire him for it. But this is not the game that we grew up with. Six Richmond players there to one crow. Ooh. Bowden to Pettifer. Coglin. Tack. He just blasted away. That's probably not in the game plan. Well done, Callaway, though. The Tigers, not just putting this plan, they are really going hard. Doesn't come back. That was selfish play from Chris Hyde. He had Greg Tivendale four to the play all by himself. Just needed a handball. He was he made him go and get the other one. Stevens, Mark 
that's the Bassett kick. Kick out wide is marked by Henschel. Slips the handball to McLeod. Oh, he takes on Bound and then play on. Got the handball away according to the umpire. Kellaway. Oh, <laughs> Kellaway couldn't keep it from going over the line. He was 10 metres in the clear. He was looking around. Should have just picked the ball up. Well, it's one goal each, and we've played 16 minutes of football. Great knock from Noble. Kellaway this time to Bowden. Short cracker. Been very good, Andy Cracker. Gee, Hardigan free. Hasn't seen him. Elects to go out wide to the lead of Richardson. Then Matthew Marks, right half forward. Difficult day for Matthew Richardson with the ball coming in as it has. Richmond have taken 120 marks to Adelaide's 71. Yeah, there's a boundary throw in here. He called play on and he was over the line. But he mustn't have come straight back in nah. on the same line. So a boundary throw in half forward for the Tigers. Noble again. Dowdy. Trying to get to Edwards. Couldn't crack her again in there fighting hard for Richmond. Stevens drags it free. Cracker somehow got booted the ball towards half forward. It's very wide. In fact, down on the full free kick to the Crows at half back. You know, there's a new stat in footy, and that is backward kicks. And uh, who would ever have thought that we'd be measuring that? They're uncontested marks. Look at that, 112 to 68. Amazing. But backward kicks. Richmond have had 22 backward kicks, and the Crows have had eight. Goodwin goes to Shirley. Now he's got Rutten. And can go to Stevens if he wants. And the more backward kicks we get, the closer we get to uh, new rule changes, which uh, we saw in the NAB Cup. Yep, and which, the, the VFL have got that rule this year. Yeah, which means that uh, you have to play on, automatic play on. Now, Riley. That's 65 from goal. Biglands is down there deep. Yeah, Patrick Bowden playing on Biglands. Back he goes for Bassett. There's a, a long backwards and lateral kick. Now John Cock. Rusciuto against three. Free kick against him. Tuck. Tivendale. But Patrick Bowden just ahead of him. Or he'll just go back, back to range. Crows have got to man them up right from here, though, yes. also, don't they? Yeah, they, they do. They're letting them get two or three away quickly, although that's a misplaced kick. It was OK in the end for Polo, and here's the man Andrew Ma said smells. Joel Bowden. Crossy goes to Polo again. We haven't had a goal for 15 minutes. And see, Richo has got off Rutten, and Rutten's just not working hard enough to cover him. And I don't think Richo's the man they should be trying to hit at the moment on the wing. But here he is again. Well done. Gets back. It's testing his little short passing skills quite a bit. But he does well there. Gets it to Polo. Kick backwards. Oh. To Bowden. This is quite amazing. A watershed in the way the game's played. All that matters, Hutto, is that the Tigers are 16 points in front as far as Terry Wallace is concerned. Another kick back. Reigns goes across to Bowden and now to Foley if he wants to. It's basically become keepings off, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it has. Foley could have run there and really attacked the Adelaide defence. Decided to go back, kicks it back to Patrick Bowden. His chip kick is okay. Hyde. So they've got it to the centre of the ground now, Richmond. Yeah. What will happen from here? Oh, gee, thought about kicking back 40 metres. Now. Yeah, they forced the handball back to Pettifer, who kicks it out wide. Patterson presents, and he marks. Yeah. Surely Joel Bowden should be being manned up now, Wolsey. I know he's, he's not on screen at the moment, but they've got a re they're leaving a release valve at the back. Well, Henschel's his opponent, and Henschel is 30 metres off him. Jackson kicks it to Hardigan. Hardigan chips it forward. Task here for Tamley, but he marks at half forward, opposed to Stevens. You know... It, we're at an interesting stage of this game, 20 minutes into the third quarter. Kick, and it's a strong mark taken by Richardson. If the Tigers win, 
how will Terrace, Terry Wallace be judged? Uh, very well, I would have thought. If the Tigers lose, how will Terry Wallace be judged? Still pretty well, I think. Don't you think today? I would think so, yeah. But... <laughs> Given it, it, what the expectations were going oh, in. Oh, absolutely. Look, uh, I mean, we remember what he did in 2000. It was the super flood against Essendon, and yes, they won that night. Yes. And he's employed different tactics tonight. This and is look, keepings off. Look at the marks. Most of those uncontested. Patrick Bowden up with his brother Richardson. Kicks for goal and hits the post. Well, what a test for this man. Acclaimed for his coaching prowess, Neil Cray. What's he going to get his players to do richmond lead by 17 john cock and they've got it to the wing and van burlo could have been 50 patterson careful not to give away the three the 50 in the end massey takes it now rusciuto is very very frustrated inside 50. henschel the target dowdy waits down but the swarm of tigers led by tiger Callaway. Gets the ball over the boundary line. I just, I just reckon the Adelaide Crows have to really uh, run and carry and get the ball in as quick as they possibly can. If they start to uh, stop and prop and try to pinpoint the ball, it'll play into Richmond's hands. Noble gets it down. Reigns. Oh, he strokes off Rusciuto. That is a sign of the confidence they've got at the moment. Tivendale's got some work to do here. Does it, Patterson? And now Rusciuto held up. And now uh, Tippendale held up. And it's a ball up. Mark Rusciuto, I keep saying it, he's only had two disposals. You'd, you'd wonder if they might even take him off. Give him, uh, just give him a five-minute break. Coglin, Hardigan. Oh, he's taken high note. Comes to Burton, who kicks goal. Bouncing, bouncing through. It's a goal to Adelaide. No, it's touched. <laughs> it's touched. The Richmond players screaming out that it was touched. Polo marks it half back. Now Joel Bowden, again 30 metres free. They'll go to him because... I can't believe this, Wolsey. Well, I cannot believe it. It's Henschel's responsibility to be on him. Yeah, here's a go here. Well, they don't really have to rush the Tigers, as we've uh, established. <laughs> See, don't say that. <laughs> I'm just not sure why they're trying to do it. I mean, it's great they're getting it closer to goal, but uh, oh, it's 45 seconds to go. Maybe that's why Jackson gets it long. I wonder if they can steal a late goal. Oh, they might be out of through Noble. Wow. Sixteen points the difference, and Noble could make it 22 at three-quarter time. That was the touch call on yes, Pettifer. Yes, definitely touched. And the big fella with the footies, he kicked a goal, Hutto, in his career. I wouldn't yeah, think he's, he's kicked many. He's kicked 12 in his career. It's his first game for the year, Trent Noble. Spent the last three weeks in Coburg after coming back, or playing for Coburg, not in Coburg, after being injured in the pre-season. <laughs> this is a massive kick for the Tigers' hopes for the day. Oh! It's, it's the woodwork. What drama. The siren has a bit of a <laughs> cough as well. As if we need another siren scandal. <laughs> Richmond lead by 17, and Terry Wallace has once again produced the year. This is an extraordinary game. Richmond have taken 145 marks to Adelaide's 82. They are playing keepings off. The game is not the same. And the Tigers might just use these tactics under Terry Wallace to win against the highly fancied and premiership favourite Adelaide Crows. Now, Joel Bowden... Will they have much more run in their legs? Well, that's uh, it's a good question, Andy. And what we saw in that uh, third quarter, you'd suggest no. And we just saw a shot there of Andrew Raines playing at full back on Mark Rusciuto. Raines has had 20 disposals, Rusciuto two. Underway, final turn, the Tigers by 17 points. Simmons kicks towards half forward. Patterson was held, no free kick. Out comes Richardson, takes the ball, keeps the hands free. Handball off, Tivendale. Tivendale wants his left side, kicks from 20. And misses. Oh, poster again. Another poster. Gee, what a, what a start that would have been to the final term to kick the Tigers away. Margin and even three goals. Now, will we see a different Adelaide approach in this quarter? 
Edwards for Thompson. We've seen plenty of this from the kick-ins. They've got to about here, and it's been trouble in terms of their entry from about this position. Massey, was he held without it? No. Bowden, inspiring in his 200th. Newman and now Coglin. Off his left, so the Tigers going a little quick and direct. Meyer over the top. Applied the good tackle, even though John Cox got away, Richmond still putting pressure on. Sweeping handball in the hands of Edwards, and now John Cox and the Crows trying to carry it down by hand. I think we might see a fair bit of that in this quarter. Thompson centering it for Dowdy. Well done by Patterson. Made the good decision to come and chase, and you can see the aggression of the Tigers. Now the handball comes out from Bassett to McLeod. Had to put the foot down. LaRue, can he take this? No, he free can't. Kick. It's a free kick. He got held. Uh, Andrew Raines held him on the arm. Good kick by McLeod to put it to the advantage side. So he had the strong body out in front and a little bit of panic there by young Raines who's just played a ripper of a game. You can see the grabbing of the shoulder and the arm and the umpire's got it right. So Mark Rusciuto... As I mentioned earlier, he's kicked 20 goals, 12 going into today. Crowd giving plenty. Richmond lead by 18. And a bit of pressure on the captain here. Good look at it. It wasn't good contact. It's been that sort of day for the Adelaide Crows. Tiger fans came here this afternoon, most of them not expecting a lot, I wouldn't have thought, after what they witnessed last week. But they've got a fantastic performance and an incredibly innovative effort under Terry Wallace. Pettifer marks the Bowden kick in and short to Joel's brother, Patrick. They've dominated the marks. In fact, they're the two leading possession winners for the Tigers, the brothers, Bowden. Kick towards Patterson. Pressure coming from Biglands. Ball stays in. Downey, good aggressive stuff that from Hardigan. Handball was perfect. Kick away to Foley. Now Polo. Polo kicks towards half forward. Almost Meyer. Couldn't control it. Diving on the footy. Down there is it Callaway. Plump by course play on then eventually penalised the Richmond player. It was Callaway at the base of the pack. So a free kick to Stevens. Who chips it out wide. They just need uh, McLeod looms as the danger man, starting to get his hands on it and pushing forward. This is what he's got to do: run and carry, bounce. Well, he's had a couple. Run the he line. Three gets good protection from Thompson. Long inside attacking 50 Bowden across the front takes the mark. Yeah, and will stop another Adelaide attack. Bowden to Bowden. They seem to be sweeping the ball forward a bit quicker. Maybe that's a reflection, Rob, on Adelaide manning up better in this last quarter. So far, they haven't had the ability to really hang on to the ball as they did earlier. I reckon uh, it's, the, it's behind the player with the ball that Adelaide have to be really tight. And again, they just fall down in that area there. Now, that is mark number 151, 152. The world record is 170. And I think they'll uh, create a record today, Richmond, the most number of marks ever taken in a game of AFL football. Who said, do you know who said that? It was set uh, by Fremantle over Hawthorne. Ooh, that one only just got through to Patrick Bowden. He can go across to Reigns quickly. No, he goes for Newman. It was a more delicate effort. So the Crows still trying to close in on the Tigers here. They just can't stop it at the moment. Coglin takes it now. Can they go shoulder to shoulder? He's still, got a man, he's still got a man behind him who was loose. He didn't go for him. He went for Richo instead. How many times has Rutten trailed Richo? Yeah. Uh, All-Australian fullback. He's lowering his colours at the moment. Richo not kicking a lot of goals, but being effective by pushing up. There's nine marks in a row. He still had Bowden behind him. McGregor making an effort to stay on him. I reckon he could still turn it around and kick it back to Bowden. He doesn't because... You can see why, Timmendale. Yeah. Timmendale's played all game on Goodwin yep. and done a pretty good job. Now, gee, that's McLeod's opponent. Polo, he's got a man away to his... Oh, it wasn't a great... Oh, I apologise. Hardigan got there to take it. Didn't look like a great kick initially. And that's a great kick. Coughlin loose. And what a massive kick this is for the Tigers and for Mark Coughlin. 
Well, they just continue to outsmart, you'd have to say, the Adelaide Crows because there's no doubt everyone knows what uh, the tactics are. We've seen it for over three quarters now. So Coglin, who hasn't kicked a goal for the season coming in, hasn't had a shot today. But you wouldn't know it's cool and calm, and they're right in it. For a man in defence at the moment, that is Kane Pettifer, and Adelaide Crows can't allow that to happen. So the Tigers by 23. Bigland's up early. Wins it down to Shirley. Edwards gives it over to Goodwin, who hoists it high towards half forward. Pettifer going back with Coach McGregor from the back. That's a terrific mark by Ken McGregor. He's marked 47 from goal. And a chance here for a quick reply. Pettifer going back was brave, but McGregor had eyes for the footy. It was a good, strong mark. There have been plenty of leads given to uh, Ken McGregor, but I think he's confident that he can make the distance. He'll need to kick it from just outside 50. It will require a very good kick from Ken McGregor. The Crows need one desperately. He keeps it low. Has it got the carry? No. Bigland's up high, but it's forced through by the Richmond defence. Adelaide's lowest score ever was in 1995. They kicked nine goals four that day. And they've got four goals ten. And they obviously going to have to beat that if they are to win this game. Is it 50? Late hit? Yes. Against Coglin. Gee, they're the sort of mistakes that in a low-scoring game, Rob. Yeah. It, it was the kick that uh, the Andy Callaway kick just wasn't good enough. Coglin arriving a bit late. He was the uh, target for the kick, but the kick fell short. And I'll just correct that stat. That is Adelaide's lowest score ever against Richmond. At nine goals, four. But right now, they're looking to get a very, very important goal. Matna just has to kick the goal. Just must. Made the goal umpire work. And he's missed. Just makes you think it may be the Tigers' day. <laughs> Well, it does, uh, yep. Michael, does it? It does. the opportunities that you have to get to give yourself a chance. You would think there's going to be one chance, wouldn't you, for the Crows? I mean, you'd think there'd be a moment when they'll come. You'd expect there to be one. But who knows? Pettifer, well, the thing about it, can Richmond keep these execution skills up to the level they have? And they've been pretty precise with their kicking, and they've been able to play this short kicking game, but... One or two kicks off target, and he'll let the Crows back in. Deledio oh. kicks across the face. Rusciuto, here's a chance. McLean will run into a goal. What you need? This last quarter, the Tigers slip up. Will there be a moment of doubt for them? 15 points is the margin. The adrenaline will start to pump. As they get closer to the finish line, this could be a holding the ball call. It is. Against Polo, against the Coughlin. Biglands. Howden's been great, but it clears him. Burton. Henschel. All of a sudden, the Crows are coming. Although, this is no certainty. Well, it is no certainty. A couple of the Richmond players are saying that kick was touched, and that's the free kick against Coughlin. Possession of the ball. And a few of the uh, Richmond boys thought that kick was touched, but uh, umpires not having any of it. So Henschel, one goal three, is his afternoon's work. Surely he couldn't miss. He hasn't this time. People who...
did the super flood. Well, that night, yep. they actually got behind and Chris Grant kicked the winning goal to put them in front. Well, we just saw Richo. Richo is lining up at centre-half back for the Tigers. Rutten has gone with him. Not, uh, kicked out of the uh, centre by Foley, and it's a mark taken by Patterson. Adam Patterson has been... was very good in the first quarter and has done some good things today. The quick kick out by Foley and Patterson... Critical kick, 35 from goal, directly in front. The Tigers need this. Bit of breathing space. Drop punt is a goal. Tigers by 15. And, Ru and Richo doesn't know whether to go a bit further back in defence and cover him or not. As it turns out, Richo's the spare man in defence for the Tigers at the moment. Edwards. The Tigers responding magnificently here. Tuck, Coglin, Simmons, who's led the way. Jackson, can he get back? Created a contest. McLeod. Careful. And now, he's got Stevens and they've got Matner running on the wing. John Cox, time to recover from the mistake. Matner. Gee, Richmond pushing numbers back. Goes for Edwards. So oh, he just got there. Now, Rashudo's going to be back in the goal square. Edwards goes and gives it everything he's got. Simmons, oh, the gloves up, and also yeah. Richo back. Well, that was his job. The big bombs. Richo's got to fly for them. Well done, Matthew. To Pedifa. Well, Richo's their uh, leading goal kicker. Pedifa is next on the goal kicking list, and here they are playing in the defensive 50. Delidio takes it. Yeah, decides to move it quickly. A little bit of a strange decision because he, he had some short options on. Gee, we haven't had many boundary throws, have we? Because they've just been uh, chipping the ball around. So boundary throwing on the wing. Biglands decisively down to Edwards. Matna running inside. Off to John Cock. Here's a chance for the Crows. John Cock kicks towards full forward. Rutten going back in good position here. Almost got hands to it. Couldn't take the mark. Bowed on off hands, Joel kicks around the boundary line. Tucker's main position had to stretch, couldn't hold on. Let's Massey in. He was dispossessed by Tuck. Foley, look out. Handball is okay. Free kick oh, against no, him. Penalized. He just held the arm. I thought he got the handball out. Be careful. Let's give away 50 there, Tigers. Matna kicks it to Stevens. Now, who's been called to play on? In fact, there was Bassett, so Bassett gets it back. Back to Stevens. Edwards inside. Chips it towards half forward. Out comes McGregor. Off towards McLeod. McLeod, what can he conjure up here? Handball off to Shirley. Around Tuck from 45. He kicks it out on the full. Free kick to the Tigers. When does that moment come, Rob, where Richmond are really staring victory in the face and where they might start potentially to tighten? Well, there's eight and a half minutes to go. I reckon if they can uh, maintain the scores as they are for another two or three, they will just put a massive, massive... All the players in the back half and yep. just play, keep things off. We're, we're seeing it just about happen now. Edwards yeah, okay. is looking dangerous. Oh, and there's crows everywhere here. Burton just needs to kick truly, kick through beautifully, and they will not die, the crows. Last quarter for the Adelaide Crows. Richmond are one mark off, equaling 170 marks, which is a record that Fremantle set early this year. So they are going to create a record for marks taken in a game of footy. Coglin forces it free. Delidio, who's got pace, can he use the footy? Long to the goal square. Can he kick one from 60? He can! Oh, superb stuff from Brett Delidio! We have the biggest range. Brett Delidio is delivered for Terry Wallace. The margin back to 15. Clark, brilliant stuff. Slide a hand through the middle. Riley looking for an exit. Finds one. Good one inside 50 and McGregor. Suddenly the game opening up. Wolsey, it's fascinating to see what Adelaide have done. They've thrown all their players down to match up the loose men in Richmond's uh, back line. 
and you've got about um, you've hardly got about three you've got about three or four couples up in the Richmond end of the ground and an extremely crowded Adelaide front half yes I think they have to do that if Richmond get the extra numbers back you've seen what Richmond will do when they uh, can just spot up loose players so the Crows have to go one on one McGregor seven minutes remaining not a great kick and it's through for a behind the margin now is 14. Joel Bowden. Crows zoning. So Bowden just had to squeeze it through. And he was able to. Coglin. Mark 170. Next mark. World record. Tuck can go long for Callaway. The world record mark taken on the wing by Callaway. It's also a Commonwealth record. Over the top <laughs> for Pettifer. Noble's down there as well. And Meyer in the pocket. Oh, he had a mountain to climb there. He couldn't. He kept on coming. So did the Crows. Still might be a goal. Free, free kick. Free kick. Adelaide free kick. Great chase down by McLeod. Let's have another look at it. Meyer burst through the Massey tackle, but didn't count on Andrew McLeod coming and affecting it. Now a chance for Hardigan. Was he over the line? No, said the umpire. It is now. Boundary throwing deep in Richmond's forward pocket. There's the short kicks for the match. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. 152 to 80. So the Tigers in a goal scoring part of the ground here. Noble gets it down. Chance for Foley. He's wrapped up, taken to the ground. We'll get a bounce 20 metres from the Richmond goal. Under six minutes left. Margin. She just looking at Joel Bowden. Joel Bowden in the back line for the Tigers, just giving instructions to his teammates where to position. Noble, taken by Riley. Hurries the kick from the congestion. Matna versus Coglin. Lending a hand, Pettifer. Did it well, knocks to Coglin. Back to Pettifer. Confronted by Burton. Good tackle coming from Burton. Dowdy off the ground. Soccers it forward. And over. So a boundary throw between wing and half forward for the Tigers. Oh. Have a look at the Richmond fans. They are loving it. Have you seen Kane Pettifer play a better game, Wolsey? No. Best game I've seen him play, uh, Andy. No doubt about that. Tigers are inspired at the moment. Can they hang on? Noble. That looked like a holding the man decision. Foley. Climbs to his feet and takes it. Big Trent Noble pushing forward. He's the long option if they decide to kick long. And we haven't seen much of that today. Well, he's one-on-one -on -one with Matthew Clark. Let's see how he goes. Clark to try and spoil. Does that successfully. And that's the domain of McLeod and co. Goodwin. And now John Cock through the middle. McGregor pushing up the ground to present. This is Riley. He's got Henschel to his left. Well, he turned around because all he could see was yellow and black. Good one. Can he hit Rashudo? Oh, yes, he can. And he's a big kick. Will he wind the arc here? He can see a vacant square. He can see goals. He can see there's still a chance of victory. The Adelaide Crows will not be denied. They trail now by eight. And the squeeze is on at the Telstra Dome. He, he worked his way through that so very well, Mark Rusciuto. He was looking to short and then realised the goal square was pretty much vacant and he just thought, I'll wheel around and let rip with my best drop punt. It was good enough. That is a picture of the Adelaide Crows forward line. Do you look at those court? They are the shortest quarters you've ever seen, just about. 27 minutes, 26 and 23. Noble decisively, Deledio. Can't get clear. Oh, almost threw it out. Dowdy. Here come the Crows. Sweeping handball out wide to Burton. Look out. Great tackle, Patterson. He's been rewarded. Yeah, well done. Haven't they been sensational? Some of their young players were. Fantastic. Uh, in a way, it would be uh, cruel if they lost this game, Rich, when they have worked so hard. Tuck. The thought into the game by the coaching staff, obviously, has been gobbled up by the players they've embraced it
Tuck now. No one really stands and commits to the mark, so he plays on with a bounce, kick towards. Half forward intended tackle was Polo Burton getting back. Well, they can't afford to sit on the footy either, the Adelaide Crows, because uh, it's less than five minutes to go. Yeah, we're inside the five, five minutes of actual game time. Gee. High kick from Goodwin to a 2-1 against the Adelaide Crows, and Patrick Bowden takes a very easy mark. Well, so, this is where they just need to employ the tactics they've done yeah, so well, isn't that's it? That's right. Adelaide have closed it up pretty well. The kick just sat up and gave McGregor a chance on Callaway. Riley dives on the ball, needs to get it out. He'll be penalised. He dragged it under. Free kick to Richmond. Now, just to give you an idea, the five-minute warning came at 21.52 on the count-up clock. So we're now 24-15 in, and there's the free kick against Riley to be taken by Newman. Has been more goals in this quarter, Chris, o, than the previous couple at least. So the kick towards the pocket and to Mark, a Richmond mark. Brett Deledio, could he be the hero? A wonderful 65-metre goal just a few minutes ago. And from just 25 metres on a 45-degree angle, a chance, you would think, Rob, to seal the game for the Tigers. Yeah, Tyson Edwards thought that Burton would continue his run and contest that. Burton stopped, made Edwards look a bit silly, and Edwards just looked at his teammate and said, what are you doing to me? Deledio. Misses to the left. Crow, Crows trail by nine points. Still plenty of time for the Crows. They need two goals. Doughty. Penetrating kick for Stevens. Got to get it to John yeah, Cock looking, if he can. Looking for his runners. Instead goes longer with the kick. Joel Bowden has been magnificent. John Cock shrugs off Meyer. Here comes Foley. Cop that, he says. Delivered out of bounds. <laughs> oh, the tenacious, tough Tigers. What a tackle. Have a look at the tackle. He's almost thrown him into Burke Street. <laughs> A high up and under, not a good kick at all. Clark Marks gives it to the money man, McLeod. Now Bassett, they've got to do something, Crows. They need to score, Downey. Rutten the fullback. The Birdman, Brett Burton, he's got through off the left. And Richardson wants helplessly as it sails through for a goal. It's anybody's game now. Three points the difference. Brett Burden stands up. Strong play by Rutten in the tackle. Didn't cough it up when initially caught. Just anchored those big legs and spun around. Got the handball off to Brett Burton, who was able to push back onto his left foot and kick a wobbly punt through. And football can be cruel. Well, back in the centre, Noble. Chance for the Crows. Edwards, a little fumble. Don't see that too often. Spills out to Newman. Long and high towards half forward. Meyer versus John Cock. Meyer almost. Chance at ground level. Hyde. Tries to knock it towards Patterson. Coughlin's got it now. They've got some numbers there. The Tigers. Stevens. Off hands. Edwards kicks it forward, Cracker, strong stuff from Cracker, stood underneath, took the pressure, and has marked 55 from yeah, goal. They'll go backwards, they'll keep possession. Good play, Newman. He's got Richo behind him, will, yeah. he, will he go to him? Yeah, why not? Why not? Richo needs to be careful with this disposal. Yeah. He's coughed up one, Newman. They've conceded 75 metres, Richmond. But it can't be too long to go. Can they hold on? What an historic victory this would be. Newman kicks and finds Kellaway. Back to Newman. They're praying. They're hoping for the siren. Richmond fans on the edge of their seats. So is their coach. Newman, dangerous kick. Oh. Race, huffs it up. Chance here for the Crows. McGregor. Great tackle. That's it. Richmond. Oh sensational victory here against the odds a major upset against the premiership